it's free for the month but more importantly and this came out of left field and nowhere reviews are back reviews on fab are back so we have this section here that's reviews you can click on it and you get access to the reviews and you can write a review oh my god we're, we're living in the good times now so you can see all the reviews, you can see the FAQs and comments are still in a uh, a forum somewhere. It's updated the reviews for the, when they were reviewed in the past as well, so that is awesome. What a what a day. But anyway, limited free. Here we go. We have the Skybox pack. This looks awesome. We've got Lake Town and then we've got this futuristic warrior. This Skybox comes with all of these uh, skyboxes made by a digital matte artist. So that's really good. Supports from 4.6 to 5.6. It's an 8K landscape and all skies are 4K. So it's pretty heavy. And it came out June 16, 2023, which is a while ago. Lake Town, it looks like Lake Town which is a place in the Desolation of Smog, which is the Hobbit movie. This, again, reviews are here. Oh, I'm so hyped that reviews are here. And this came out in January 29, 2022. This one says it's only supported up to 5.4, but because it's a FBX and a bunch of uh, static meshes, then you can add that to 5.6, 5.7 as well. This one says that it comes with raining snow and ground snow effect. So it's going to be interesting to see that and walk around in it. And then finally, Futuristic Warrior. That's some Warhammer 40k type warrior. So we'll take a look at this guy. And reviews, reviews are back. So good. And this is rigged to the epic skeleton, so this should be quite easy to uh, move around. And again, 4.18 and up to 5.4, but you can use it in 5.6 as we're going to. This one came out July 16th, 2023. So all of these assets are quite old compared to the ones that we've had recently. But yeah, reviews, man. Reviews about it. Let me know what you think. So here we have Futuristic Man, Futuristic Warrior. And we've got his animations, his walk cycle, his jump cycle, and him playing with a hula hoop. All its module pieces here as well, so you can have it set up in different ways. What would Garrett look like in the 40k universe? got some attack animations in here as well and kicks and stuff so that's good and the beauty of this one is that if we just go die on any of the epic skeletons then he just works straight away it just makes life so much easier as well It also means that like, we can use this for enemies simply by just swapping them around as well. So super easy. Now all our enemies are futuristic soldier people as well. So that's good. You don't have to use the animations provided. You can use literally any animation that has been rigged to epic skeleton which makes it really versatile all right we'll take a look at lake town we'll take a look at the pieces that are being used to make lake town so i've got all of these different kinds of uh meshes they're not hugely modular like this is just a like a one set piece on here and it doesn't have any insides that you can go into and use that way so
yeah, we've got some platforms for being on top of a lake, some stairs, a couple of like marketplace stalls and stuff, and some ice looks like as well. Even this static mesh is joined. Ooh, that makes it less useful. Okay. And there is one static mesh that's missing, which is this mountainous zone here. So that's like a backdrop for you as well. So let's take a look at the actual demonstration. We'll have a little wander around it, see what happens there. So you get a nice little cinematic, but cinematics don't really mean very much. Like this is a very packed uh, level for sure. Here we are with our character, just having a little walk around. The snow falling is a nice effect, but it's a large level. It's massive and it looks impressive. And obviously the cinema shots that we saw earlier were impressive as well. But the good news is the collision on all of these is pretty good. So we can just pick them up and use them without having to change too much around. Which is very nice. So very nice asset, very well thought out. And yeah, we like that one. So here we are with the skies. This is a sky sphere. It's a sky box mesh. That, that just looks insane. Let's take a look at another one. Someone has some mad art skills on those. sure now the actual things and materials this one's material instance so you can change the brightness so it changes down to like 0 0.1 and apply that and now it's darker so you can play with the material instance at runtime and change it around and see uh, what you want to come up with really. Which is quite nice. What was it out before? Four. Yeah, that is some crazy work right there. So this is what it looks like with a terrain behind it. Very much a, like a Marsy type terrain. Let's see what we can do about adding a character. There's our futuristic man on our Mars battlefield. She's using the combat template as a thing. Like that looks quite epic, honestly. Imagine a cutscene playing this guy going, yeah, man, that's cool. So those are your free, free assets. The map painted skybox, Lake Town, Futuristic Warrior. And yeah, let me know what you think of those. Do you like them? Is there something there that you can use? And don't forget, now that reviews are back up, don't forget to review people.